Living on the streets is an everyday struggle. It's a 24-hour job. From the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. People going by, looking at you, kids are looking at you like you're just, um, like you're nothing, you know, like you're just a litter on the street. When I met my caseworker from the LEAD program, she literally, I would like to say, saved my life. It was a winter cold night. My tent was falling apart. She got me out of there into this um, bridge program. And so I can't express how happy I am about that. LEAD is the Law Enforcement Assisted Diversion Program, a public safety program aimed at reducing police contacts and chronic criminal law violations that are due to behavioral health conditions or extreme poverty. So the theory of LEAD is if you can actually address those underlying causations, um, whether that be drug use, mental illness, extreme poverty, that you can actually reduce someone's chronic law violations and police contacts. The value of LEAD to law enforcement is it gives me other options. I don't have to say, yes, right now I have enough reasonable suspicion that I can detain this person. I can simply go up and realize there's somebody in need and offer them services. We have tried historically to rely solely on booking and, and prosecution and conviction. And for people who have chronic behavioral health conditions, we find that they largely fail through these systems and end up just continuing to cycle for decades at a time. I'm proud of the work that I do. I'm proud of the work that LEAD allows us to do. Um, I thank the police for the social contact to introduce me to Joey. He needed to see that somebody cared for him. He needed to see that someone was consistent. He needed to see that someone had his back and to advocate for him. He needed to see someone not judge him. Honestly, literally where I would be right now if Reach and Lee never came into my life, I'd probably be dead. Never had this opportunity to better my life or anything like that. Because couldn't spend another winter out there. Going forward from this point on, I, for my fiance and I, we're gonna we want to get our family together and get back into the world and do things properly. So, you know, just live life. <laughs>